morning guys so today is january 26th i think <laughs> when i'm filming this and i just wanted to film this video today because i'm coming up on this is my second to last day before i start my maternity leave and i realized uh, i'm gonna be getting induced on probably the 9th i'm not really we don't have a date set yet and I realized my whole life is about to change. Like everything about my life is gonna change once this baby is here. So I wanted to take some time to film a day in my life, even though right now my life is a little bit, my schedule's a little bit all over the place because Zach just started working second shift and this isn't my normal routine, but it is my routine without a baby. <laughs> so I'm just gonna film today and show you guys just a regular day before everything changes and then maybe I could look back on this video and think wow like look at all the time I had um so I'm just getting ready for work right now I'm kind of running late to be honest with it's you. seven it's seven thirty four. I need to leave the house in like 20 minutes so uh, I'm just gonna take my vitamins over here take uh, some of my other vitamins that I take um, that are prescribed, and then I'm gonna get me some water and some breakfast. person but I've noticed since I've been pregnant that I need to like eat something in the morning or else I just don't feel right so I'm gonna make a peanut butter and banana sandwich and eat it on my way to work uh, I'm almost out of peanut butter so hopefully this is enough and then I'm gonna blow dry my hair really quick so that way it doesn't look like all crazy and wavy before I go and then we'll head to work this before I go so let me show you my vanity area so this is how everything kind of looks right now I took everything apart um, because this little desk is gonna be a changing area for the baby I have all his little like diapers wipes and stuff all set up I need to put it in that little uh, shelf space but as far as my skincare goes uh, this is what I use on a daily basis. It's kind of like a knockoff version of like Cetaphil. And then as far as chapstick goes, this is like the only chapstick that I enjoy using, the Burt's Bees. So I'm gonna put this stuff on and then I really have to get going because I'm running super late. <laughs> I made it here to work on time. I'm only like a minute late, so I'm gonna run in there and clock in before I'm any more late. And then I'll show you guys my desk and stuff and my office a little bit here and there, and then I'll probably check in around lunchtime. So let's get in there. <laughs> It's currently 
currently 5.04. I just got out of work. Uh, I'm in a different vehicle than the one I took to work because Zach stopped by on my lunch break and we went to McDonald's and we had lunch together and we switched cars because he has to take um, our other car to work because it's just better on the freeway. This is our smaller car um, and Zach is working second shift right now. So right now our schedules are a little bit all over the place, a little bit different. Um, so he comes and sees me on lunch because we don't spend a whole lot of time together right now. So I'm really looking forward to going on, on maternity leave next week so that way we can see each other more often. I really didn't get to check in with the vlog as much as I wanted to today. It was really busy throughout the work day, which it's been crazy. Um, ever since my uh, my co-worker stopped working there so I really don't have a whole lot of time I wanted to show you guys more of the office but I did show you the really nice view we have outside of our uh, window and I showed you uh, this plant that we have in the office it's like eight years old it's really pretty uh, and I showed you a little bit of my desk um, so now I'm gonna head to Dollar Tree I got to pick up a few things and I also need to stop at Aldi to get some groceries and then we'll head home Dollar Tree, went in for toothpaste, spent $20. That always happens to me. That's why I don't shop here as much anymore. I'm going to show you guys some of the stuff I got. I'm not going to do like a whole haul, but I wanted to show you some of the new stuff I've seen. I got this real simple all-purpose cleaner. It says it's safe to use around kids and pets because it cleans without harsh chemicals. I bought one of these a few days ago and it smells really, really good. It's like a citrus basil scent. I really don't smell the basil, but it's really, really nice has a really good fragrance to it so I got another one and this I was so excited for grab it I've never seen these at Dollar Tree I've been looking for these I've been wanting to buy some of these for a long time at a decent price so I'm happy I found them but they've got these um reusable uh like sandwich bags or like uh, Ziploc bags this one has like the little melons on it this one has like the little like zebras and giraffes really really cute so I got these while I was in there and that's why I don't go into the store very much because I'm always like getting sidetracked with all the new stuff so I'm gonna go run over to Aldi right now and get some groceries and then we'll head home so I just got home I didn't really film at Aldi because there wasn't really much special that I was picking up there. I put away the groceries and I made me a little snack. I had another uh, banana and now I'm going to go walk Michonne and uh, probably start making dinner. So I'll take you guys with me. All right, Michonne, you ready to go outside? Let's go out the store. Come on. Let's go out over here. Actually filming this clip quite a few days later uh, after I walked Michonne I was just so tired and I just wanted to take a nap uh, and then we made dinner and it was just it's kind of been a little different uh, in the evening when I would get off of work because Zach started working a new job which is on a, like a second shift kind of schedule so my evenings have been really different just in general, since he started working at this new place. And I thought it might be better if I just kind of just talk to you guys about how I'm feeling about all of these changes and kind of explain what like a typical night would look like for us instead. So uh, normally on a typical night, uh, after I'd get out of work, uh, I would come home, walk Michonne, make dinner, and then Zach, he would be home, you know, somewhere in between that time. He'd usually get home you know, either he either be home before me or he would get home shortly after me, depending on like where he was working. Um, so then I would after I'd make dinner, uh, we would both come downstairs uh, in our basement because that's where we have our living room set up. We got our TV and couch down here and I would bring Zach a plate of food, bring my plate of food and we would just sit on the couch for hours and just watch YouTube videos, TV shows. 
um, sometimes movies, like whatever we were watching at the time, which was usually like 90 Day Fiance, because that show comes out like year round, they have new seasons. So we would watch a lot of that and just laugh for just like hours and have a good time just being home after work and unwinding in our basement. That's like one of my most favorite things in the world to do. Uh, that's something that I'm gonna miss once the baby's here because I'm sure at first it's gonna, we're not gonna have a whole lot of time for one another. This has kind of been my routine in my life, you know, since me and Zach got together. We've been together 12 years. I really am proud of the life that I've built with Zach. Having kids isn't something we were sure that we really wanted when we were in our 20s. I feel like this is such a good time in my life to become a mom and welcome a child into our family. Sorry, my heater just turned on, uh, but I'm gonna make this quick. <laughs> so I'm really happy with the t like what we did with our time together is just, you know, a, a, a couple with, with no children. Uh, I felt like we grew so much. You know, we bought this house and we raised our two dogs. We were lucky enough to have Gizmo all the way till the end of his life. He almost made it to 18. And that experience was just so life-changing. We were lucky to have the experience of caring for Gizmo in his last years because it taught us so much and it made us mature in a way that I just, I, I never could have imagined. That was such a grown-up situation to make that hard decision when it, you know, it was his time and to go through that pain of losing him. Uh, we learned so much and that's what I think was a big factor in us deciding that we were ready and mature enough to have children. I'm just so proud of all that growth and all the things we've learned over the years together. But the time that I had, just me and Zach, um, was special to me and I'm looking forward to this new chapter. But before I move on, I just want to think back to the past 12 years and just fondly remember them. And I thank you guys for watching this video to kind of reminisce with me to see what my life, so that way I can look back and see what my life looked like before the baby was here. Cause I'm sure there's gonna come a time where I, I won't remember what this time in my life felt like. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one, bye.